Hey there, this is Heather, and welcome back to Civilization VI as Byzantium. Uh, before I get into the gameplay, I just want to mention two things. As usual, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and also leave me comments in the comment section. All of that will help me with the YouTube algorithm, so I really appreciate that. And then secondly, I just want to mention that I am using a different microphone than the one I've been using in all my other videos. The other one was picking up weirdly and harshly and people didn't like it so hopefully this one's better if you can tell that there's a difference let me know um i think that you will but just want to put that out there in case you want to give me some feedback okay so we are taking over the incan empire right now we have surrounded the capital but my units are kind of squishy so i'm going to need to form some cores here hopefully they don't kill my cavalry He's still just barely alive. And these warrior monks are kind of useless at this point. Unfortunately, they have just, they've become obsolete. So we're definitely not gonna get any more warrior monks. That, uh, that's not going to happen. We also need to get some like a science towards, you know, like tanks and stuff because tanks are technically cavalry in this game. And if we have tanks and we can do full damage with them, on cities that are converted and we don't need any siege weapons. It's just going to be like incredibly easy to roll over our enemies with the tank. So that's going to be my goal. Hopefully we can accomplish that like ASAP for right now. I'm going to pillage this campus and finish mass production. Okay. Now let's get headed towards, well, I was going to do industrialization. Um, but I really, really want to get the tanks going and we could get that with combustion. So I think that's where we need to go. I'm not really concerned about the coal as much, frankly. I think it might be better to just like, well, I mean, we could do this first, but then after I want to go towards combustion to get the tanks. Okay, and our cavalry is pretty damaged right now. I think I'd rather heal for a while and go over here now it doesn't like damage my units as much to do that as it looks like it will which is interesting all right and the siege weapons are actually like very ineffective compared to the cavalry which is also interesting um, you are not a core, are you? No. Let's, like, move this core up here. Okay, and we'll get this core coming up here. And this guy, I th he's just by himself. He can join up with this guy. And you can come up here. Lots of units, actually. Lots of units. We're gonna get this iron mine, mostly for the production. And this warrior monk basically doesn't have any purpose besides pillaging. So I think that's what they're gonna do until they get, you know, killed, basically. We're doing a decent amount of damage. He doesn't have enough movement left to pillage, so we'll have to do that on the next turn. And we're going to, um, we are going to continue converting cities. I would like to liberate the city-state, um, not, like, take it over. How much... Okay, we have only four citizens. Yeah, four citizens. Well, let's just do one more charge just to be safe. And we have an enemy unit coming in here. In our recently founded city. We can't have that. All right. Now you can form a core with that guy. Which will also heal you a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to choose our production. Now, we could get more cavalry, but this one, this or uh, capital doesn't have like... I don't think we would have an encampment in here, actually. So we might not want to do that. However, I do kind of need banks. I need a lot more gold in general. I think we're going to work on the bank here. 
And then here we can build cores. So I'm going to get a cavalry core here. Okay, and in Winnipeg, I think what I'm going to do here is build the arena. We have negative amenities in the city, and if I build the arena, we will also get a free unit. That's just, you know, pretty efficient. So, and I'm going to get the harbor here in Montreal. We need trade routes. We need more gold. We have, like, a bunch of gold right now, but as soon as I buy a unit, we're not going to have much gold at all. And I need to improve my income just in general. It's only at 36 per turn right now. That's not very good. Like at this stage in the game, definitely not very good. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm just going to be using the warrior monks for pillaging at this point. Um... Your health is not fantastic. I want to get you to go away and heal up. You also really need to get out of here. I could pillage for science, but I really am afraid I'm going to lose the unit. We can't have that. I'm going to pillage with this warrior monk and get 275 gold. And you are a core. You're okay. Looks like we're, we don't have the city under siege anymore. That's a problem. And you are going to continue on your way. That unit went over there. So he's not over here at the moment bothering us. But we do need to remember we are trying to get rid of him. Okay, you go here, I think. Maybe there. Yeah, now it's under siege. That's better. Okay. And you over here. We will attack again. We will hit it with the bombard. And the field cannon. You can go over here and attack. And we almost have it. Almost. There we go. And we have taken the Incan capital. That didn't take too long. I could have pillaged for more science and stuff and really probably should have done that, but I just like wanted to get this done, frankly. And I got a little bit impatient, so. Let's continue converting. We need to do this if we want to use our unique ability. Okay, and I think we're good there. So these guys can just make their way over there at this point. Yeah, you can't really go anywhere at this point. Yeah, keep the city. And we need to repair these farms. It's actually like, if you look at it, it has actually reduced my housing that I, because they don't have like those farms intact. They were giving me housing and now they're not. Um, what do I want to build here? Like I want to build the government plaza somewhere, but do we want to put it here? We could put it like over here or something. I don't know about that though. I kind of would rather put it in the capital. I mean, it's better to build it than not to build it at all. But, um, it's kind of weird. Alright. I think I'm going to put an encampment in. Or a campus, maybe. We could get a plus three campus in a couple different locations. That's an idea. Oh, look at that. We can see what's in there now. That's crazy. Have you guys ever seen this before? All right, it's like, how are we gonna get to it? I don't know, but I'm not worried about it. <laughs> well, heck yeah, we're gonna build a plus six campus. That's crazy. Very weird, very, very weird. And we can repair this one, but first I think we should probably repair the granary for the housing because we don't have enough housing for the citizens that live there. 
And we need to fill a policy slot. I think I'm gonna go for... Charismatic leader. Do you not realize that we are supposed to be the preeminent builder of wonders? I did not realize that. Maybe because you aren't. And the warrior monk has died. I'm not really shocked by that at all, but um, kind of unfortunate. We can promote to this guy. Let's do that. And I will get a charge on him. And then in Victoria, what do we need here? We have negative amenities. We need more housing. <sighs> like the production's okay. It's not, not fantastic. It's not like terrible. We could build an encampment here. That might be a good idea. We could build... No, we already have our industrial zone. And we don't need to build one of those anymore. So I guess an encampment, we could build it, you know, on the desert. It's not really being used for anything. Could we build a settler in here and then get that oil? Okay, it will only take me six turns to get a settler. So I'm going to do that. And we should probably attack this guy and attack the catapult. How much damage would you do? Not enough. We need to get rid of their units that will put religious pressure on. Um, I feel like that warrior monk is not really going to survive very long. I'm not really that worried about it. Just, I just don't think so. Move this guy over there, the bombard. And you could attack. Why don't you just like go onto the aqueduct? And you can go onto the encampment. You need to heal. Yeah, you just heal up for a few. You we can promote you. Um anti cavalry or Hmm. I'm going to go down this direction because I like this pillaging promotion. And I think we need you up here. Maybe attack this guy. Do some damage to him. And I think I want to bring the settler down in this direction. Um, maybe here? I'm not really sure. I'll have to think about that for a minute. And we need to keep converting. Plus four error score that we don't really need as usual. As usual, we have way too much error score. Okay. I'm just gonna keep moving north. Kind of surprised that Patrick Cootie hasn't been begging for peace. Maybe he will in the next turn. I don't know. But we have taken his capital. And he doesn't... I mean, he does have, like, a number of cities left. He captured that city-state. So he's got four, I think, at this point. But I don't think that'll take us, like, a really long time to take over. Okay. Who did they kill? My bombard was destroyed. And my... Curacer? However you pronounce that, I don't know. Coal. Okay, well, we have industrialization, so... Let's attack this cavalry. Okay, and that, like, spreads my religion. I don't want you to get killed. We can promote you, so we could also merge you as well. Hmm. Um, let's do the promotion first. And I will take charge on here. And in Antioch, what do we want to build? Maybe we want to build a spy and use him to, like, get money from our enemies that might be a good idea 
Let's train a spy. I don't do that enough, probably. And we could also get a trader. Do we need builders? I feel like we always need builders. We could put lots of farms around here, and that might be pretty good. Could build another encampment. Could get like a granary, an industrial zone. How good of an industrial zone could I get? Oh wow, look at that. I could get a plus six industrial zone because I have the adjacency. I think I did this like myself and had that planned, but I didn't put a pin down, so kind of forgot about it. All right, now we did repair the uh, granary, I believe, so we can continue doing more repairs. We could pillage for gold or form a core. Hmm, tough call. Let's pillage for the gold first, I think, and then form a core. Okay. And is there anything that you could pillage? Like, if you couldn't, like, live to get over there, then maybe. Then maybe. Okay. Let's see, like, how much damage we can do here. I would like to get, like, more units. Like, and put it under siege, though. It still isn't, and it probably won't be because of the coast, but I always forget how that works. All right, you are healed up. We can attack. The movement is pretty good. And you can just like come over here. I think I'm going to get the settler to come over here. And you can just like move north. We will repair this farm. Move you up. And we are exploring with our tagma. Probably need rangers, but I am researching that right now. Okay, what do you want? This is ridiculous. Oh my god. This is the worst trade deal I've ever seen. For one freaking luxury, he wants 24 diplomatic favor, a relic, two relics. And these are worth a lot. Like this one, four faith and 12 tourism per turn. And this one's four faith and eight tourism per turn. You are horrible. I don't like you whatsoever. And I'm going to enjoy taking you down. What a jerk. Like, who does he think I am? An idiot? Okay, well, now Patrick Hootie will give me money, but like, I don't really want to leave him with a city that's right next to the one I, like, his capital, the one that I took from him. I'm not going to give him peace. We've already like surrounded the city. That's like a lot of trouble that I've gone to. I'm not just going to like let him talk me out of it at this point. Like he's crazy. It's not going to happen. We have things to do and we are here already. I don't want to like think that I've wasted my time. We will just continue brutally attacking until the city is ours and that is the way that it should be. Why don't you go over here because that barbarian is annoying and we, we can promote you. Um, let's get, which one do I want? Hmm. I think I'm gonna get charge on him too. Okay, and we will probably build a factory here. We can't put the aqueduct adjacent to that industrial zone, so I don't really care that much about building it. And we will repair these other things now. Maybe the aqueduct. Right now we're capped at housing. Wait a second. No, that's gonna take 10 turns. 
let's queue this up instead. Um, can you get out of there? Wait. I don't want to just repair that first. And then the library, then the theater square. Then the aqueduct. Why did I think it said 10 turns? I don't know. I really don't know. But it didn't, apparently. It did not. Okay, and you can move north. Reinforcements are coming. Cavalry have really good movement, which makes this a lot easier. Interesting. Very long, skinny continent. This is supposed to be a Pangaea, but it doesn't look like that. I mean, it is technically connected, I guess, but just barely. One had a twisted design. Red. And we have completed St. Basil's Cathedral. Another, this will give us plus 100% religious tourism from the city, plus one food, plus one production, and plus one culture on all tundra tiles for the city. And that is completed. Okay, and Brazil is angry that I'm building wonders and I don't care. Okay, total war. I definitely want to put that in because we have been pillaging. Now, where do I want to put that? Hmm. Well, that's a tough call. I guess I'm not like building builders right now. Training builders, whatever. All right, now which civic do we want to research right now? Maybe go towards mobilization. Maybe a lot of things. Well, I have to see what cards. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to go for, go towards like, Yeah, I'm just gonna go towards urbanization, honestly. I don't know if we need everything. We're just like trying to efficiently win this. How good of a commercial hub could I get? Oh, it looks like I already placed it. Okay, well, they can just work on that then. And what do we need here? We took this city from the Inca. Could put a military academy. We need an amenity though. We don't have enough population. Maybe we should get a granary then. Or a builder. Let's get a builder here. And we need to kill that guy. Don't know what he's thinking he's doing. We should probably get rid of that cannon as well. And we will attack. Go back to our conquest. That city-state thought that it was going to distract me, but... Nope. We've taken the city that easily. I didn't even get to pillage the campus. That's unfortunate. Well, this warrior monk is kind of useless, so I'm just going to use him right now to go after this musket man. Like, I can't upgrade it that I know of, and therefore kind of doesn't really have a purpose anymore. Got rid of him, that's good. You can heal up after we promote you. Actually, you're already healed up, so that's pretty good. And of course, we are going to keep the city. And I don't really want uh, Pachacuti keeping the city-state. He took it, and I think that it needs to be liberated. Okay, we need to repair a lot of things in here. Like, we don't have enough housing. Let's repair the granary can promote you as well. And we have three envoys, okay. We can't take anything over. I guess we could take Laventa. But we're at war with them. 
Um, and I am the aggressor, technically. So... I don't think I can do anything about this, can I? Oh. Weird. It tells you one thing, but then allows you to do other things. It's very strange. Okay, so Sinbad has actually not been... Like, no one's, like, taken him yet. There are actually a lot of heroes that no one has taken yet in this game. We could be getting, like, all of them. And maybe we should work on that. Maybe we should get some of them. But it hasn't really been, like, a really big priority for me. We've been doing fine. Okay, you can repair that sugar plantation. Someone has a bunch of chocolate right here that they are not using. And we don't have chocolate. <laughs> you want my landscape that I bought. And you also want coal. I think you're crazy. I'm not going to give you this. <laughs> like, what are you thinking? I don't know. I do not know. Okay, now I could get rid of this jungle and then put like farms there, which we kind of need because we don't have, like we have a lot of desert, but actually, you know what? I did want to get that oil hooked up. So never mind, never mind. I clicked wrong. I changed my mind. I need to upgrade you as well. Okay. I think I'm just gonna like start sending units over to Vilnius because I want to liberate them. And I think we're okay over here. I mean, never mind. We're not we're not at war with Jerusalem. And you are healed up. We could always pillage that campus. Because right now it belongs to the Inca. You need to heal. You need to heal as well. You could heal, but you're okay. I don't know. Can you attack right now? Probably not. It's probably better that you don't do that. And you're fine. Um... I don't want you to get hit by that encampment. Might be okay. We might have enough movement to just like get by there before they can do anything. Can't even see anything over here. Who is this? Japan. Well, we have open borders, so we could go in there. That's not a big deal. Um, what do we want in Edessa? We already have our industrial zone. It's a pretty good one. Let's get the workshop in here because we just completed that. The Inca are still trying, like good luck. Oh, okay. Well, they want a military emergency and I have got basically like no diplomatic favor. I don't know. We'll find out what happens. It has failed. All right. Well, Patrick is the only one who voted in favor of it. India did not. I'm not going to renew a friendship with India, that's for sure. Because that would prevent me from taking India. I'm not worried about you. But we got rid of the cultist, so that definitely helps. We don't want him using those against us. <laughs> Alright, well... That encampment isn't isn't good. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to like try to not get killed by that. Maybe you can go over here and you can attack on this turn. I guess we'll do that. 
So it doesn't do a lot. We could pillage here and get some culture. I'm gonna do that. Because we didn't boost that civic for industrialization. And we will also pillage for science. Be nice to get that pillaging promotion. You can still attack. Minus 39 defenses. Hmm. I would use a warrior monk for pillaging, but I feel like he's gonna get in the way. We'll see what happens with that. I can promote you, but let's attack. Just gotta move all the units over here. Okay, and we have a spy now. Where should we send the spy? Maybe to Rio de Janeiro. Siphoning funds will not get us very much money. I don't know about that one. Um, maybe to India. 320 gold is like not a lot. That's the same amount. What about here? No, we can't even get gold there. Well, that's weird. Why are these so not valuable? I don't know, but we'll just send him to Rio probably then. He has a commercial hub there. I don't know. Well, you can just do that. And we have our settler here. I wanted to send the settler maybe, maybe down here. Just like to get the oil basically. That's like the whole point of that. And we're gonna get the oil over here. Okay. I think it will be fine to settle there. So that's what I'm going to do. And over here, we need to get some more amenities. Not sure how we're gonna do that. Maybe I will get another spy. Um, could repair our defenses. I don't know though. I think we'll get the factory first just to make everything else go more quickly and the factory here as well. We can repair the library. Pachacuti wants peace, but he's not willing to offer me as much as he was last time. So yeah, no, we're gonna liberate Vilnius at least, if not, you know, do more than that. Okay, we can't actually do anything with the oil yet, so that's kind of funny. I did not realize that. Well, you have five builds. It's kind of a waste for me just to like have you wait here. We could put a lumber mill on that tile. Maybe that's what we'll do. And we can found our city. First settlement on Atlantis. Apparently that continent is called Atlantis. It's very strange because I thought this was all a Pangea. It's not really. Let's upgrade you to a cavalry unit. And go back to attacking here. You're pretty injured. I don't really think I want to attack with you right now. Maybe just pillage first and then fortify. And I'm going to promote you because they didn't do it last time. Let's get garrison. And a factory. We'll repair the aqueduct. And in our new city, we could probably use a monument, but I'm going to purchase that. And then we can get ancient walls, I think. That's a good idea. 
There's some like really good tiles here. I'd like to buy them. Just in case I don't take that city, I probably will, but just in case I don't. And we could get some, like, get like a farm or something there. I don't really want the Inca to be able to take everything. I'll take that tile as well. Okay. I'm good with that for right now. Let's continue attacking maybe, or we could pillage. I think we should pillage. And we could still attack, so. That was pretty good. You need to come over here and attack. Now they're gonna take damage from the encampment. I think I'm just gonna have to accept that. Um, I would like to get you out of the way. I've got units on all of these tiles. That's pretty irritating. Can I move you away from here? Apparently not. He's too damaged. I can't attack with him. You can just heal up more. And you can come over here. I've got a lot of units over here. I just like don't know how many are going to survive that encampment. Because it is like very impossible to avoid on this entire side. It's like not badly placed. It's working out pretty well for Pachacuti, unfortunately. Okay. Be funny if they didn't even use the encampment. I feel like they didn't, which is odd, but um, whatever. Okay. Now you two both need to get out of my way. Need to move in here with units that are not nearly dead. Um, can I merge anyone? Doesn't look like it. Looks like they're all merged pretty much. Well, we will pillage for health right here and then attack. Just continue attacking. Maybe kill that guy. Promotion available. He's not dead, but... We did some good damage there. And you can go over here. That'll be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna have you alert me. And then we need more food here. Like I was saying before, we can actually get a coal mine, so I think we should do that. We don't have any coal mines yet. Actually, we do have three accumulating. I don't know where it is though, I'll have to check that. I obviously don't wanna spend forever like looking with my eyes to try to find it. Let's just search. Okay, so we have a mine on that one. I think that was just a random mine that we didn't know what it was for. And we have coal there as well. And then that one. Okay. We will be fine for coal then. Let's get a factory here. And you can't do anything right now. Just gonna get that lumber mill and then I guess we'll get the coal after that. And then what do we want here? We could build medieval walls, we could build a campus. The campus would only be plus two. A 
holy site. We could get plus two. It's not fantastic. But we could build a theater square. That's like not bad. It will be next to the entertainment complex. And then could put something else next to it as well. That's not bad. I'll just like buy that and do it now. And what do we want here? We could get more builders. We could get a military academy. I think the military academy would be most useful right now. So I'm going to just like go ahead with that. All right, so they're trying to fight back. I mean, I've almost taken the city, so well, whatever. Plus one error score, we have steel. We've found a natural wonder, but it is not available to us. Okay, let's get this lumber mill. And we will continue attacking. Okay, now that encampment can't do anything. And you probably need to heal. Can't pillage on that turn. We'll have to wait. We can get rid of field cannon. Okay, you need to heal up as well. Way too damaged. We can promote you. We are definitely going to liberate. Yay, my first liberation on this channel. Fantastic. Okay, and we need to fight off some barbarians. That wasn't too hard. We could get a dam in the city. We might want to do that. Doesn't look like he has an industrial zone that he built here. I mean, it's my city now, but... Where is it telling me that I'm going to put this? Like, I... What? Oh, my brain's not working right now. Where is it going to go? Would we just put it here? Is that where it's going to go? No, here. I have to get rid of the wheat, but it might be worth it. I can put it in an industrial zone right here between the aqueduct and the dam and next to two horses, that will be a fantastic industrial zone. It will be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's repair the Alchemical Society. And we should build a shipyard in Montreal. And we could get a library here. And you need to heal. You've been damaged pretty badly. You need to heal as well. You need to heal. Everyone's damaged, but we will be fine. You need to heal. I should probably turn that Tagma on auto explore. Oh, and Patrick Cootie wants peace again. Refuse. I don't know. I think we're just going to wipe him out. I don't like him having those cultists. They really annoy me. Like, it's fine when you have them as the player, but he is spamming those and really irritating me. Just have the Tagma explore for us. Okay. Now, where do I want to settle this guy? On this tile, we are within three of the ley line. It might be good to be here. We'd have to get rid of the forest. I think, like, no matter what your city center gets two food and one production, so... We could settle on a completely useless tile, like, right here. And that should, hypothetically, give it two food and one production. 
So I'm gonna do that and hopefully it works out the way that I think it will. And we can also make a dedication for our golden age. And I am going to probably choose to arms then. Um, because we can just like continue to declare war on people. Why not? We have plans to do that anyway. We'll have refining in three turns. At this point, I might just want to have them hang out there and wait. And we need to get rid of these cultists. I don't know. What happens when you get rid of a great scientist? Does it just teleport back somewhere? I think that's what someone told me. We could capture this builder. Or we could get, uh, we could get rid of cultists. I think we should probably get rid of the cultists. But can someone else do it? If someone else could do it, then I can attack with this guy. But it doesn't look like I can. That's right, though. We got rid of two. Captured the builder. Teleported the great scientist. And we can still attack. You're kind of damaged. You should probably heal up. Ooh, pillage for 439 gold. Yes, indeed. We will do that. And then fortify. We're not really doing very much damage here, but I didn't realize that we had not like actually spread our religion. This one just has the pantheon. I did not realize that. Well, we need to kill more units then, and we need to get missionaries. So let's get missionaries going. And choose a new civic. I think we should probably go for colonialism maybe. Or mobilization. Yeah, let's go for mobilization. And we can promote you. And what is this? 50% gold and resource. Okay. Yep, we're going to get forced modernization. I don't know if anyone can be upgraded right now. Let's just hit this with a field cannon. You can fortify and heal. We should probably take over like that, the smaller city first then because we don't have the religion in place, but the missionaries won't take like a really, really long time to get here. I think we'll just do that. We'll just take over the ones that are already converted. Under the white cliffs battlemented. Found the cliffs of Dover. Okay. All right, so he just got a unit in there. We're gonna found the city. It's not growing. That's not great, but we can buy some stuff in here, like the granary. Now it's growing very slowly. And we can buy the water mill. And we could get a builder in here. I think I'd rather just send it from somewhere else and let's see, what do we want to put in? Hmm. Now this was never going to be a great city, very clearly. I'm not really worried about that. Um, great engineer, instant factory and workshop and factories provide plus two production. That's pretty good. Okay, you need to get all the way up there. And I don't know where I want to send you. Probably over to the new city because we're not going to be able, well, I don't know if they really need to produce anything though. That's a thing. 
Like, they really don't need to produce anything. Maybe we will send it over here instead. Because we could get an industrial zone, like, next to the horses or something. Or over here. In this city. That wouldn't be a bad one to put it in. Um, what is this? Okay, we don't, we actually do not have a workshop or factory in here, so never mind, we'll just use it there. That's perfect. Okay, and let's build a library here. And you are unpowered, and it's like showing that negative thing about it. I don't really want to build coal power plants in this game, but I guess we could. Definitely could. All right, well, let's go for it then. And what do we need here? This would be plus two or plus three. It's pretty good. You could put an aqueduct in here and then it would be even better. Let's do that. It's going to take kind of a while to do that, but that's fine. And we can repair the theater square. And I think we're going to go after the city first, like I was saying, because it's already converted. We could pillage for science. I think we should definitely do that. Okay, now it's not going to heal. We got that coal mine and we have to get this one over here. We'll do that next. And I don't think we're gonna continue attacking there right now, actually. It's just kind of pointless. There's oil over here, so that's like another reason to take it. We'll pillage that on the next turn. And we've got this builder. I don't know if he's gonna get out of here, but we will find out. Yeah, this is a lot easier. A lot easier because it's been converted. Way easier. Okay really just want this guy to keep an eye out for barbarians. And we've got a field cannon attempting to take over the city on its own. Good luck. Okay, I'm going to leave this part here because it is 48 minutes. Um, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me comments in the comment section down below. You can also ring the bell icon to be notified when I upload. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.